Hi, welcome to the Sprint One demo uh, for the Parker Exhibit Spotlight team at Stanford University. Um, in this demo, I'm going to be uh, showing and displaying uh, features and functionality added in the past week um, and talk about some larger project goals that have been accomplished already. So first thing to note is that we, uh, the team was able to uh, create a release and uh, launch to production, um, some enhancements to exhibits last week. Uh, none of these changes were user facing, but uh, provided security updates and um, uh, some bug fixes to users. Uh, this is part of a team's goal to uh, start a continuous delivery um, uh, for uh, exhibits and spotlight so that uh, users get access to um, features and functionality quicker. We can deliver value quicker. So here I've, in our stage environment, um, I've uh, created a Parker Sprint one demo um, exhibit to kind of demonstrate some of the feature, custom features we've added for Parker here. Um, and this is what the homepage here looks like for a exhibit administrator. If I click search. I'm going to get back here some results. I've indexed part of the Parker collection in here. These are all the manuscripts. Um, you know, I can click on it here, and um, I should get a show page here showing some of the um, here in a second uh, showing the manuscript here. And now the show page is going to open up in uh, Mirador, which is great. Um, and some of the work that we've done in this past sprint is we've added a feature um, to uh, add this uh, layers panel here on the left hand side. So previously this this would open up without uh, the layers here, but we've made some changes to open it up with the layers here and you can see this panel popped up. Uh, we also made a change here to add full screen support. Um, so uh, now when I click full screen, um, it changes uh, the view to view this full screen mode. So these are some Kind of enhancements on previous functionality that was added here. Um, another thing to note is you'll notice the Stanford exhibits theme is kind of you know here in the footer um, and around the page. We actually added an ability to configure and, and change that uh, so to use a Parker specific uh, theme. So I'm going to click Parker there and save changes. And what you'll notice immediately is in that theme, which is it's not fully configured yet, but partially, uh, we remove the Stanford footer there. So now the Stanford footer is gone, and you know this enables us to add custom theming for the Parker exhibit. Oh, uh, one other exciting feature I'll I'll quickly demonstrate is we already showed the um, SDR uh, Parker manuscripts. Um, you know, in here, but we wanted to add bibliography support for these. So we wanted to add the references and the citations that you know, are related to these. Um, so we've uh, started a big piece of that work in the past week and uh, have it working pretty well. So I'm going to demo it here. When I go to click add items, Um, I have this option to click bibliography via BibTech. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to go choose a BibTech file. So let's, uh, let's choose a BibTech file with one, um, with just one article in it. So this is a BibTech file. I'm going to click add and all right, so it gives me a message that uh, my bibliography resource has been successfully created. I'm going to wait a few seconds and now refresh the page and let's see. Now I have 252 items here. So that's great. I'm going to go into a search and I'm going to click resource type and I'm going to hit reference. And so now this reference that's coming from the Big Te Bib Tech file here is in our index. I can click on that and um, you know, I can get some information um, about that BibTech uh, file. So we have the title right now, the author, um, the publication info um, available to the end user. 
So that's pretty exciting, but what, if, you know, I don't want to, you know, just do one, um, one citation at a time. I want to, um, you know, add them all at the same time. So we've added that feature. So you can have a BibTeX file with, you know, however many citations in it. Um, we're kind of, you know, using the Parker, um, the Parker library of around 6,000 citations um, as a baseline here. But I can um, click uh, add items here when that page comes up. can click bibliography via BibTeX. And now I'm going to select the um, the um, Parker bibliography uh, resource there and click add items. And now this file is you know kind of large. There's 6,000 citations in it. And what it's going to do is it's going to upload it to um, Spotlight here, or our exhibits application. And then it's going to go ahead and start on a re-indexing process. And that indexing process can, you know, take take a little while because it's, you know, indexing so many documents. But what we will see is, uh, we will start to see, um, you know, our index count move up here. So previously, it was uh, 252. Now it's 264. And if I uh, refresh the search results over here, um, you know, hopefully here in a second we'll get some more results and um, be able to show those. All right, so now I see 299 there. I'm hoping, yep, I have a whole bunch of more references here. And it's, you know, just doing 20 at a time. And I can see, uh, you know, these references come in. Uh, one really cool thing about these is they're um, already searchable. So um, I'm going to search for Irish here because I saw something with Irish. And now uh, we can see Irish postage stamps um, uh, came up. So that's our uh, Sprint demo. Uh, thanks for joining, and we'll see you next week.